Hi there. Uh, welcome to my channel, Ann Makes, here on YouTube. I'm Ann, and I also blog at annmakes.blogspot.com. If you are new to my channel and you would like to subscribe, you can do so by uh, clicking on the subscribe button below. And I would love to have you as a subscriber. So, today I am sharing with you a Canadian Dollar Tree haul that I did. And this is actually the second part of a Dollar Tree haul. The first part I had to put the items away and there were some snack items and a few things that uh, some of my family members needed right away. So I filmed that, that right away so we could take care of things. And now this is the other part of the same Dollar Tree haul. So either this will be in two videos or maybe it is in one. I don't know what right now if it, it will be one video or two. I will depend on how much time it takes and uh, how much time it takes to upload. So, here are the lovely finds I found at my local Dollar Tree this morning. I got these lovely Jot stickers. They are like colored uh, half pearls that have sticky backs. And I got one of each color that was available at the store I was at and uh, this is new uh, some foam mounting tape also by the Jot brand and these are little squares on a roll I believe yes it's on a roll and this is a roll of um, mounting tape this is the foamy kind, there, so it can give your projects dimension. And then here you have a whole roll, and there are 16 feet. Uh, there are 16 feet in this roll, and this roll has 10 feet. And I'm in Canada, so every item that I'm showing you, I paid a dollar twenty-five Canadian for. They have these funny, these cute or funny tattoos. 22 tattoo packages. I couldn't resist this one. It's the Furry Friends. And here are the Furry Friends. It's by Savvy. So I think it's made in the USA. And these are what they look like. They're little small animal tattoos. And I will uh, probably be tattooing my um, planner with these because they're just so cute. And look, there's a little kitty. Just like my kitty when she was a kitten. <laughs> um, in the first part of the haul, I showed uh, this because I bought two. One for my kitchen to use in the kitchen. And the second one that I'm showing you here is to be used with uh, my clay in my craft room. Because that's where I am right now. And I thought this would be a really good way to cut clay and to measure the pieces at the same time. Uh, picked up one of each of the pencil pouches that are new at Dollar Tree in the Jot line. My favorite is this one that says, have a nice day. Believe in yourself is the other one. This one has some lovely butterflies. And finally, the zebra that says, hello. I and uh, I think they're very nice canvas type pouches with some color and I find so many uses for these pencil pouches I I do put of course pencils and pens and other art supplies in them but I also use a lot of these when I travel they are really good size to fit in my uh, my carry-on and sometimes I just use these for uh, attachments for my devices or they're, a, they're just a good length also to keep my passport in. Depending on what I, I need, a little pouch for it, it's fun to, when I'm in the airplane, if I need something out of my bag, I could just grab a pouch of what I need and I'm good to go. These are in the garden section and this is decor, but they were with the other gardening stuff. So I, yeah, it's kind of like outdoor decor stuff. And they're this big hook thing that you can you can hang this from a tree branch actually, 
or anything and hang something else from this part and it's not glass it's like an acrylic but it's very pretty I got two of these and I wasn't sure if I would be using these outside or I was going to try also maybe to paint them and maybe use them in my craft room because I have a ceiling that is open. It's, uh, all you, you could see all the beams from the upper floor and my ceiling because it's not uh, a closed finished ceiling. And I thought maybe I could use this to hang some items from some of those uh, cross beams that I have. I got two uh, packages of these fine tip applicator bottles by Craft Medley. There are three in here. I'm hoping I can make some sort of fine writer for uh, paint of these. I got a few things for the garden, some plant labels, a package of 10, some bulbs uh, to plant the Lucifer. <laughs> I didn't even realize that's what it was called. Uh, crocus simias. Okay, it's kind of it's a type of crocus. And apparently they're a deer deterrent. Hmm, that would be... I could, my neighbor will want a lot of these. Because we have deer that show up and the deer kind of eat his cedar hedge. And the deer eat the apples and berries from my, our bushes and trees. <laughs> yeah, a lot of action. Uh, and these are Liatra Spicata, the purple, and also a deer deterrent. Well, I think my neighbor's going to like me this year if I plant these and they do grow. <laughs> um, they have these, well, this new design for the uh, paper products. And I got one of each, except for the erasers. I didn't get uh, that. I got the mechanical pencils. They're really cute. The ballpoint pens. And on them you can see all the little designs. A watermelon, flower, heart, cupcake, and another flower. And the uh, little sticky notes. I got one of each set that my store had and they had several of the magnetic list pads and i just chose this one the dollar tree i went to had just received these small binders they're soft-sided and i really like this print with the butterfly and of course the pink on the side. I got two of those and they had some hard uh, binders too. And they had them in purple with white polka dots, purple with white chevron. Uh, no, sorry, they had purple with black chevron and blue with black chevron. Uh, but uh, I would have taken blue with white polka dots if they had any, but it didn't. So. This will do just fine. And so these are the small binders. They are, they're, I don't know, I think are, are they six inch? It doesn't even, yeah, they're like eight and a half inches uh, in height and they're six inches wide. So they're fun to make your own planners, your own agendas, uh, also for all sorts of storage for stickers, dies, etc. And there were tab dividers available in the package of five and sheet protectors and I bought uh, a lot of those. So I would have them eight and a half by six and a half. This is something that I've been looking for for a long time in Canada. Uh, Staples had them for a while but when I would go they were sold out or and then they got them again and they were just ridiculous price really really absurd price so I didn't I never got them but now I can get them a Dollar Tree so I'm super happy and I will go back and buy more um, this week I picked up these art therapy card and envelope sets I like to um, my my idea now is that I keep 
uh, a couple in my purse and a little like a little pencil case like this with some coloring tools and when I have an appointment I'm waiting somewhere I have a little project to do on the go I picked up one of these sand timers this is new at my Dollar Tree or the Dollar Tree that I frequent and it's a two minute sand timer and this this is really neat because sometimes I need to time things and I don't want the dingy thing so or if we're playing a game and so I got this picked up a roll of this purple floral wire this was the only package of stickers I may have hauled it before but I really love the vintage style of stickers and I want to get back into my mixed media and art journaling uh, so I'm adding to my stash of vintage ephemera and these are stickers but I will turn these into uh, regular ephemera. These are the art therapy tags that you color. So I got this style this, this week. My store finally got the paper straws that everybody else was hauling. That is part of the Spring Fling collection. So I got one of the yellow with the little ladybugs and this like green with flowers and the white with the swirls and polka dots. I have hauled these tapes before. I've hauled one of each of the new ones at the store that Dollar Tree has. But today when I went back, uh, well I hadn't been there in over a week, I bought one more of each of these because these ones were my favorite and I have some uh, I have scrapbook projects in mind for these two and some uh, sort of vintage art journal-y uh, project in mind for this one. Speaking of uh, mix, doing mixed media and collecting ephemera, I always look for puzzles with small pieces and I buy them whenever I see them or if I'm at a thrift store, but I really like the smaller pieces. And most of the time I get puzzles for really, really like cheap for 25 cents or so at garage sales and thrift stores. And most of the time puzzles have a lot of white or a lot of blue or a lot. If it's a scenery, there's a lot of, there's a lot of the same color. And, uh, but I always keep my eyes open for an interesting puzzle. I wanted something, I always look for something that has a lot of color and because it's a mini puzzle. And I saw this one today at Dollar Tree. Now there were a few others that probably would work too, uh, but this was my favorite of all of them. This is a puzzle, it's a 300 piece puzzle of seashells. Okay. Now I have no intention of making this puzzle as a puzzle. It might be very fun and very challenging, but my goal today was to purchase this so I could have some uh, ephemera uh, for my mixed media. And I'll show you what I mean, because each piece is so small, but interesting. Each piece, almost each piece, is a totally different color, and I have such a variety and a selection of, of colors in here and prints which is nice because usually when I find uh, an old puzzle, like I said before, there's a lot of the same color because there's like a big background and such. But this one, the, there's so, the details are, there, there's so many details. There's a really complex uh, layout. And so this will be great for making, uh, mixed media stuff some people I've seen people make jewelry with puzzle pieces and all sorts of ATCs and all sorts of neat neat things so and these are just the perfect size for that I got one of these business card holders it's metal I might not use it for business my idea was that I would use this to hold uh, some of my heat heating tools like like irons and stuff uh, in either the bathroom and or in my craft room to keep them from burning the table or counter 
I don't know if it will work. So I got the business card holder and I got the little metal pencil cup. And I also got this metal dish because I thought one of these will work. Maybe one could be for like a curling iron. Another could be for my little soldering iron or something like that. Just uh, because metal is safer than plastic or cardboard when you are working with tools that can burn down the house. <laughs> uh, I love to buy all sorts of stationary items as I've already shown you. But this was new to me at Dollar Tree. They have these uh, two pocket folders by the Jot brand. The cover has a zipper, so there's a pocket here, a clear pocket. And it's you open it up, and it's folder with two little pockets on the inside and a section here to put like business cards. And I thought this is great uh, for me to keep some projects or templates that I use in a lot of my craft making, art making, or when I'm doing a project for a customer and I need to keep bits and pieces together. Uh, and it's, it's very durable. So I thought, though, these might be very practical for me. I buy snap closure envelopes uh, quite frequently, actually, because I use a lot of them. And uh, it's fun when I find them in these pretty colors with designs because I tend to use these for my personal use. I like to use them to store uh, my fine papers, my, piece, my pieces of vintage ephemera or vintage photographs that I like to keep together for a project or whatnot. So that is that for my uh, Dollar Tree haul, the second part of the Dollar Tree haul. If, I, if I've made two videos, I will uh, put a link for the first part. And if not, well, it's in the same video and I'm repeating myself. So I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your continued support. Please subscribe if you'd like to uh, know what's going on with me. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And uh, I love to read comments. I like it when people also make suggestions and ask questions. I respond to everything. I get back to it eventually. So please do that. And uh, just uh, try to take care of yourself and have a good time. And I will catch you after the next haul. Bye! Um, and I got these two Star Wars chocolate eggs and there is a plastic egg inside and there's a little toy or a little trinket or something inside. <laughs> my boys are, my boys will say we're too old for Kinder Eggs, but I'm going to give this to them at uh, Easter <laughs> anyway.